Okay, now that we've created our form, we need a way to share this with people so that they can fill out the form. And how you do that is you want to click the send button up here in the upper right. And there's several different ways that you can share this form. You can either email it, that's the first option up here with this little envelope. Next to that is a link if you prefer to uh, share it by link and you can shorten that as well. There's also the option to embed this in your website and what happens is you get a little bit of code and you can add it to your egg CMS site. An example of this is Andy's potato site where he has an email alert sign up. He's got the form embedded right in his website so people don't need to click on a link to be taken to the form to fill it out. It's just they can um, enter the information right here. So also I want to bring to your attention that there's this option to add collaborators. Currently since I created this form I'm the owner of the form. Right now um, it says it's private, only I can access. We can change those settings by clicking on this. And there's uh, quite a few different ways, uh, levels of security or sharing uh, with this Google form. So we can make it completely public with that first option um, where anyone can search on it and find it. Or second option, anyone with a link. And the next two options require um, an NDSU Google Apps for Education sign-in. So um, if you want it to be locked down to just NDSU staff, you would probably choose one of those options, or you can just choose to uh, add specific people here. In this way, if you add collaborators, they will be able to not only edit the form, but take a look at the responses. This is what the drought team does. We have about four or five people that need to get in there, check out that spreadsheet, and look at the information. So if you have any questions or want to test out a Google form, please feel free to give me a call. Thank you.